Okay guys, it's been about a year and a half since I actually got this little guy and I figured I haven't done a review on it and that's really unfortunate because it's definitely deserving and worthy of a review. So today we're going to be talking about my Forsaken AK or the Forsaken AK really in the AK community and other or it's also known as Sentry Arms C39 V2. Now this gun has like I said kind of gotten a bad rap because there's been a handful of reviewers in the AK community that swear that this gun is a piece of garbage that it's not built well and all of it's based around the bolt of the firearm. Now that's specifically not the bolt carrier group. The bolt carrier group has the charging handle but there is an actual bolt that turns and people have claimed after shooting you know thousands and thousands of rounds that that bolt itself um, the metal that it's made out of wears down too rapidly and essentially uh, causes it to lose head spacing that's essentially what's gotten this gun a bad rap in the AK community and I'm gonna be actually talking about why I think that's a good thing for you guys that want to get into AKs so Let's get into my personal experience with this gun. First off, I'm not going to claim to have a million rounds through this C39 V2. It's just not the truth. Honestly, I am more of an AR guy. I do tend to shoot eight or ARs a lot more than AKs. That being said, I've owned it for about a, this gun for about a year and a half now, and I have around a thousand uh, rounds through this gun. So I certainly haven't been not shooting it, just that I tend to shoot my ARs a little bit more. So. Through the thousand rounds, I have been checking the bolt, just like the claimed reviews, and maybe I got a different gun. Maybe uh, my gun's just different or better. I don't know, but I haven't noticed the same wear pattern issues or head spacing issues that others have. And getting back to accuracy, I haven't noticed any issues with accuracy myself. Granted, um, there is one concern with accuracy, but it's not really due to the, well, it's kind of due to the rifle, but really the sighting system itself. But I'm gonna talk about that in the pros and cons to this rifle. As far as the functional accuracy of being able to hit, you know, four inch, uh, five inch steel plates at 100 yards, it's been able to do that for me. And once again, you know, you have to set your expectations realistic for an AK with iron sights because even an AR with iron sights at 100 yards is not the most accurate tool. Uh, that's why we put scopes, optics, things like that on our guns when we want to shoot them further than 100 yards or even reliably accurate at 100 yards. It's simply the best way to do it. So for me, the functional accuracy and functional reliability have been uh, on par. Uh, I have not had any you know failures to fire failures to feed out of this firearm okay so let's talk about some pros and cons to this gun so I'm gonna start off with the pros and the first thing that I really have to say about the C39 V2 especially if you get a Magpul edition like this is you get a really nice well-built AK that is made in the US and it comes with a lot of kind of not super special accessories or add-ons, but things that I think take a stock AK and just make it a really good gun. And I think this, in my opinion, is kind of like what a stock AK should look like in the 21st century. Nothing too special or fancy, but you do have the option to easily pop off this top guard if you want to put optics. Of course, you do have a... Uh, don't even remember what these are called at the moment but you do have a little side plate here for adding optics if you want to run something over the receiver it has a lot of options and like i said a lot of minor upgrades things like a magpul stock magpul hand grip uh, magpul magpul hand guard up here you have a muzzle brake and lastly you have a uh, charging handle kind of stop with the safety so this is your safety selector but if you pull the charging handle back but you guys can see here, you know, this uh, safety, the safety selector also has a ability to catch the mag or the, the bolt when it comes back. This is particularly handy if you do decide to run magazines that have a last round bolt hold open on them, which more modern AK mags are beginning to do. So if you have that, this is a nice ability because once you run out of ammo, you can just, you know, hit your safety selector up to hold your bolt back, you know, pop your mag out put a new mag in very sloppily apparently and then you know just hit your safety and send your bolt home so anyways it has a lot of really good features to it that make this gun a really nice kind of stock AK 
what are some cons? So the only con that I really have with this gun, once again, bearing in mind that I haven't tried too much with it and I've tried to keep it pretty stock, the only thing I really don't like about it is its front sight post. And the only thing I don't like about the front sight post is it's very blocky. So I don't know, maybe I'm shooting at small targets, but what I find with this post is that it usually ends up covering whatever I'm trying to shoot at. So it's really hard to see where my target is because the entire post is covering the target. So I can't really tell if I'm off a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left because the entire target's being covered. So that's the one thing I dislike about this sight. Um, I wish it was a little bit thinner than it is, but yeah, it, it works good enough. And once again, at 100 yards and in, which is primarily the range I use this AK at, it works just fine for me. So let's talk about the last pro to this gun, and I think it's kind of an unfortunate pro, but a pro that if you guys are looking to get into an AK, I would highly recommend taking advantage of. And that is that this gun has effectively in the AK community of, you know, know-it-all Russian gun lover enthusiasts been blacklisted. They don't really like this gun. They think this gun is sacrilege or whatever the hell they think. I don't know. I don't really care. But these guns are, you can find if you look around, especially on the secondary market, you know, for people selling them themselves these guns have taken a heavy price reduction so this AK as you see it minus the sling um, would normally run about 900 to 800 dollars but you can find these things reliably for around 600 to 500 dollars I got this one for 575 when I got it and it was aside from missing its box brand new never fired barely even you know had the action racked on it so this gun was like i said in brand new condition when i got it no rounds fired through it and i got it for substantially less than what they retail for and like i said that's primarily due to the ak people uh blacklisting these guns saying that these guns are bad they're not good so through my use of it, it's really proven to be just fine. So honestly, I would recommend that you take that kind of blacklist name kind of disadvantage for most people and just use it to your advantage and get a really nice solid AK. The great thing about this is it is a milled receiver, so it is very strong, a lot stronger than your stamped receivers because it's made out of one solid block of steel. And so that is a nice pro to it. Uh, like I said, you have all the pros of custom furniture, custom muzzle brake, and uh, custom muzzle brake, extended uh, mag release on it. So it's really a great steal if you guys can get these things for, like I said, sub $700. It's pretty freaking awesome. I mean, I'd highly encourage, even at $650, I would highly encourage one of these guys. It's hard to go wrong with, especially for the price point. And if people think that they're just crap, AKs, let them continue to think that because for me, at least in my personal experience, it's been nothing but the best as far as, except for the only exception is that front sight, which even that's replaceable. I could get a thinner post for it, so it's not the end of the world, but it certainly is functional as far as an AK goes. And the best thing is, especially if you get it for a cheaper price, you can, you know, pop this top hand guard off, put a pick tinny rail up here, throw a red dot, or, you know, you can run on this side you know you can run a custom rail off of this and put an optic up here so getting this gun for a cheaper price would allow you some more options to actually customize the gun maybe make an ak that you'd like even more so anyways guys that's all i have to say about the century arms c39 v2 it's been a great gun for me i've really enjoyed it shooting it when i do fortunately you know i shoot the ars more but i definitely run this ak as you guys have seen and it is really a blast to shoot. So anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.